Hi, I'm Sara and I'm an Education and Volunteer Specialist with Manatee County. Today we're here at Emerson Point Reserve to talk about our estuaries, especially mangroves. Now estuaries are really special because they're a combination of salt and fresh water and they together they form brackish water. Estuaries are a really hard place to live in because the water is so salty, but mangroves have thrived here for years. There are three different species of mangroves. The red mangrove, black mangrove, and white mangrove. The red mangrove lives the closest to the water's edge or in the water, and you can tell them apart because they have arcing roots that are red in color. The black mangrove lives a little bit higher elevation near the water's edge, and they, you can tell them apart because they have little sticks around their roots called pneumatophores that protrude out of the soil. Now the white mangrove lives at the highest elevation and you can tell it apart by its leaves. It has very elliptical shaped leaves or very rounded tips on the edges of the leaves. Mangroves are very important in estuaries because they provide a nursery or a breeding ground for wildlife and they're an important food source for many animals. They're not only important to animals, they're also important to us as humans because they provide essential ecosystem services such as filtering excess nutrients and protecting our coastlines from flooding events like hurricanes, especially here in Florida, and erosion. They keep the land nice and compact to make sure that we can live on it. Now that, now that we learned about mangroves, we're going to do our own very own experiment uh, to see how mangroves help protect our shorelines. So for this experiment, you're going to need the following materials. So for this project, you're going to need a container. It can be small or large, depending on the scale you want to do this project on. You can do it large like me. You're also going to need a mixing bowl and a mixing utensil, a measuring cup, all-purpose flour, salt, scissor, any cardboard you might have laying around at home. It can be a toilet paper roll, uh, old boxes, some old newspaper or old magazines that you can rip apart, some paint and a brush, and some uh, pipe cleaners or fake flowers to simulate our mangroves and some water that you can also obtain from your sink at home. So our first step is gonna to be to use our old newspaper or, or old magazine and rip up a few pages and make them into balls. So this is gonna be the foundation of our shore. For our next step, we're gonna make a salt dough mix and this is going to represent our shoreline. So you're going to need a mixing bowl and a mixing utensil. And we're going to mix two cups of flour with one cup of salt. You can also add a little bit of oil, so two tablespoons of oil to add to the smoothness. But I'm just going to do our flour and our salt. Now that our salt dough is ready, we're gonna flatten it out or roll it up. And then we're gonna place it over our newspaper to make our very own coastline. Now we're gonna take our paints and we're gonna paint our shoreline. You can also just leave it the color of the salt dough if you would prefer not to paint your shoreline. But I think this way is a little bit more fun, isn't it? Now that our shoreline is painted, remember every shoreline is gonna look different. So you make your own. 
we have to make our beach houses, right? So you can take a piece of cardboard and get creative with it. Make your own houses however you would like. You can fold them or you can take uh, even a toilet paper roll to make your own houses. I decided to make mine out of cardboard. And this is what they ended up looking like. So these are my three little beach houses. So I'm gonna place these inside my shoreline. We're gonna take our water and we're gonna fill half the container, just enough to get to our shoreline. Okay, that should be enough. Now we have our shoreline that isn't covered by any mangroves at all. So if a hurricane were to come and so strong waves were to come into shore, we're gonna create our waves using a piece of cardboard. If strong waves were to come into the shore, they could easily reach all the way up to our houses. Do you see that? Let's find out what's gonna happen when we actually have mangroves on our shores. Now we're gonna use pipe cleaners and thick pans to recreate our mag and mangoes inside our diorama. So you can use pipe cleaners and cut them into pieces. And using these pieces, we're gonna put them on our shoreline to make a barrier against the waves. So make sure to make your mangrove forest nice and thick. And now that our mangrove forest is up, we can make another wave using a piece of cardboard. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about mangroves here at Emerson Point Reserve. I hope that you enjoyed making your mangrove diorama and that you can see how important mangroves are in Florida, protecting our coastlines from flooding events like hurricanes and keeping them nice and compact, protecting them from erosion. Thank you for watching.